Hey everyone. <clears throat> okay, so this video does excite me a little bit more than any other um, topic that we're going to talk about in this self-awareness program because we're talking about our environment, aka society. So if you're a Euro Weight Loss member, you would know um, how much I love to talk about how society has a huge impact on you how it has a huge impact on your choices, on your lifestyle, and how you let it um, be a reason why you can't go further or you, can even, you can't even start um, with being a healthier version of yourself. Okay, so your environment plays a huge role in your success. So your environment is like your colleagues, your friends, your family members, um, all the people that basically surround you every single day, and they play a huge role into creating you, like who you are, and what your values are, um, your thoughts, your perception of your life, like all of these people have, uh, really do have an effect on all of those things. And your thoughts, are um, basically the main source to you being successful. So if you are surrounded by negative people or people that don't think weight loss is a thing or losing weight and maintaining off is a thing, then you're gonna think the same way. If you are, you, you know, if you're surrounded by people that don't work out, chances are you're not gonna work out. If you're surrounded by people that, you know, party all weekend and drink all weekend, it's probably what you do as well. You get you get where I'm you, you get where I'm what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so um okay, a lot of people think that like should I change like I'm not gonna change my environment. I, I can't right now I have my family and like this is the life that I've created. And I agree to an extent. I think that some of the negative people in your life need to like take a hike, now, but like I understand that um, at one point your environment really is stable and like kind of stays the same. Like your friends are your friends and your family members are your family members and you like created your life and your job is your job and these are your colleagues and like this is it. This is this is who is going to be around you for quite some time. And um, you're thinking that because this is it, you're saying this is it, this is it. This is my life now. So because these are my friends, because this is my job, this is who I need to be. And that's where you're wrong. Um, and, and I understand that like they have an effect on you, but they certainly, at, at the end of the day, you have a decision to make on, on who you are and you have control over that. So sometimes you feel like you don't because of your environment, but you do. So it's good news. Uh, it's not easy. It is very simple, but it is not easy to be a healthier version of yourself. I think that what we're trying to do is, we're trying to re to basically say, it's, it's gonna be impossible for me to be healthy and to live the current life I live. So basically, the new life I wanna live and the old life or the, the current life I'm living can't coexist. And you're, you're right, like it's gonna be hard, but I don't think that's what, we, what you should focus on right now. I think what you need to work on is trying to make the creating the person you want to become mixed with the person you currently are that's where that's going to be hard because they you can't just ditch the person you are right now to like live this fake life of like now I work out now I eat vegetables at every meal now I do this and you like ditch the old person that used to like stand in the pantry and eat everything all the time so it's really hard to have your current self coexist with your new self. And so it needs to be like these sustainable, slow changes so that your current self evolves and that it becomes this new person. But you can't just have this new life, this old, you know, this old life or this current life and then bam, like the, we're just gonna mix them up. It's not just your environment that's going to be affected, you are going to be affected. So, okay, let's talk about blaming our environment for our decisions. So often enough, we tend to blame our husbands, our spouses, our, our kids, our kids. Like, I mean, those grilled cheese bites from Noah's grilled cheese are amazing. Can I blame Noah for me cutting the crust a little too thick so that there's more left for me? Like, he can't even talk. So it's not his fault, but I tend to, 
use the fact that I have kids and use the fact that like if I didn't have kids there would not be any grilled cheese in my house you would find something else okay um, and we just it's a way for us to make ourselves feel better for like it's out of our control please know that what you eat is certainly in your control and um, but what's hard is that we watch other people eating and I had, I had uh, read this once um, it's not hard watching what you eat, it's hard watching what other people eat, and it's kind of like really true. It's kind of insane how at a restaurant, you're sitting and if someone else orders before you, it can affect what you're going to order. Because sometimes you're different than your environment. And I think that's the, one of the hardest parts of wanting to change who you are, is that you're, by change, it means you're different. Different than who you were, and different from the people that surrounds you. And that makes it really hard. And that's why obviously they say to uh, really, uh, they, they encourage having people, your environment should really be um, a representation of how you wanna live your life. But again, it's hard, like it's all good, we're talking about it, but at the same time, like how do I change my whole environment? So it's not about like ditching the people that are in your life right now that are important and create you. It's about finding new relationships. Um, that you can share that part of your life with. I have best friends that I don't talk about weight loss or working out because they don't work out, but they're still my best friends. Um, so it, it's I have other people for that. So it's about creating new relationships to be able to better your environment, okay? And of course, letting go of some relationships that do not belong, all right? Um, Okay, so I think that like at the end of the day, being able to say, you know what? Society does not define what I want to do with my life. So I talked about that in the weight video where I said, you know, I don't judge you for wanting to be overweight. I don't think I should be judged for wanting to be healthy. And I think that sometimes it, being healthy is like the minority and Right now it is, it's the minority, something to think about. But living a healthy lifestyle, being a healthy weight is the minority. And so it's seen as different. And sometimes things that are different are scary and um, can be seen as um, something that it means it's it's hard work, you know, it's that extra. And it's just, for me, it's just choices. Like it's what I want, it's a choice that I'm making for my life. Just like anything else, the job that I have, that's a choice. Um, the job that you have, that's your choice. And so everyone's so different. So you just need to like coexist, coexist with other people that have other, that have made other decisions than you. Um, I've shared this example before. If you offer me a cupcake and I say, no, thank you like really nice, don't comment on anything about the cupcake and like there's so much sugar or there's so much calories or whatever. I'm just saying like, no thank you. There are chances that you're gonna, you know, if if you say that to someone, no thank you for the cupcake, there are chances that they're gonna roll their eyes at you. All oh, right, you're on your diet. Oh right, right, you're trying to lose weight. All oh, right, you don't eat this kind of stuff. That comment, those comments, those really negative comments towards your lifestyle, are super annoying, um, but also like are so odd to me because if you were to offer me an apple and I say, no, thank you, I don't get those comments. And so it, it's, it really shows how it's a product, like those comments is really an effect on how they feel about their choice on eating the cupcake. So you didn't say anything. You're not like, I'm not eating the cupcake. Sh you, you know, you shouldn't either. You're not even saying that but they know that that is how they feel about eating the cupcake. And so that's their insecurities talking um, through your choices or your decision. Um, but if ever, can I just like say this for people watching and maybe people that aren't interested in a healthy lifestyle, if someone if you offer something to someone, whether it be healthy or not healthy, and the person says no thank you, I think that that's, that should be the end of the conversation. Like there's no need for any um, rolling of the eyes or comments on why they said no thank you. I think it's very interesting um, how we, we, um, we kind of like feel like it's okay to judge anyone that like says no thank you to a food. Like I, I think it's very interesting to me. Um, I want you to take a look at your environment and I want you to reflect on how it affects you. 
um, all the while realizing that you are in control of your thoughts and that your environment, um, you are letting it control you. That it does not control you, but you are letting it. And so see if you want to change that. See if, if this is something that you want to work on. And, you know, I heard once, you can change everything about you. Your hair, your spouse, your, um, your address, your job. You can change everything um, outside of who you are. Basically, all of, all of that surrounds you, that creates you, and that basically you get up and that's who you are. If You can change all of that. If you don't change within, if you don't change your mind and your thoughts and the way you see life and think about life, the same actions will occur. So sometimes we try to look outside the box to be able to lose the weight and keep it off. And we want to change this, 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 everything outside. Um, and we don't look at what the real issue is, the real problem. And it all starts with you, your lack of trust, your lack of confidence, which you think you weren't born with. Confidence is not something people are born with. Motivation is not something that people are born with. And I also think that motivation is garbage. I also think that it's not a thing. I think that people, it's not you're a motivated person and you're not. Uh, I think that it's all in what they think and how th they control their thoughts. And if their thoughts are going to be positive towards um, going to the gym or eating healthy, or if it's going to be this roll of the eyes, like, ugh, I'm on this diet again, you know? Because the doctor said I was overweight and apparently I should lose weight. Like that's all your thoughts and how you see living this life. So your homework is to be able to look into your environment and see who would I blame for my decisions. Um, and you know, I think you should be honest. If you say like, if my husband wasn't eating chips uh, every night, then for sure, like, it would be so much easier. You know, like, your husband eating chips ha does not affect your weight. You eating chips affects your weight. So you make the decision that you're also going to eat chips every night. And I find that pretty interesting how we're like, I'm like, well, so, you know, if you need to think about, like, what, what are your issues in a week? Like, what makes you make a bad decision? And you're like, oh, Really, I know I gained weight this week because my husband was eating chips every night. Oh, I think you gained weight this week because you were eating chips every night, okay? Look into your decisions, and I know that other people's decisions can affect yours, but another person's decision is just an option for you to consider. It does not need to be your choice as well. So when you're sitting at a table and other people are ordering things, and they're ordering a put-in, yep, a poutine is on the menu. It's one of the choices. It's it's the decision they made for their lunch. It does not have to be yours. It's just an option for you to consider. There's a full menu of options for you to consider. So look at your options this week.